Now, in Unit 1, we will introduce you to the context and relevance of the chapter. This unit is divided into three sections. Let's get started with Section 1, Context of Chapter 3. In this chapter, we address the research logic, or more specifically, the underlying way of logical reasoning and coherent argumentation. Section 2. Relevance of Chapter 3 In previous chapters, a basic understanding of academic research and theory and practice, as well as corresponding academic principles, has been developed. The next step is to look at the underlying logic of research processes. This is important in order to understand how conclusions, or better to say, answers to research questions, are derived. If you do not understand the logic of research, you will run the risk of false conclusions and ultimately fail your research project. Therefore, the context of this chapter is to understand the principles of research logic as a prerequisite for a successful research project. Why is it relevant to understand the principles of research logic before we deal with other aspects of academic research and writing? First of all, the research process has to be structured in a logical way. Thereby, we should be able to avoid illogical reasoning that might lead to false conclusions. Section 3. Learning Objectives of Chapter 3 What are the learning objectives of this chapter? After this chapter, you should understand different ways of reasoning. Furthermore, you should be able to differentiate between inductive and deductive reasoning. Additionally, you should be able to explain the structures of modus ponens and modus tollens. Moreover, you should understand the terms falsification and falsifiability. Finally, you should be able to differentiate between indicator and causal hypotheses.